Hello, my name is Victor Grausarat and I'm one of the developers at Enigma working on the Enigma Data Marketplace. A decentralized data marketplace that allows people, companies and organizations to contribute data, which users can then subscribe to and consume. In the Enigma Data Marketplace, the subscriptions are handled in a decentralized manner through the use of smart contracts. The marketplace will initially serve Catalyst, our professional platform for data-driven crypto asset trading. Through the data marketplace, premium data sets will be bought and sold to provide additional inputs to your trading algorithms. In this first video, I will focus on the seller side of the marketplace, which we, we, which we call data providers. This is the side of those who want to offer their data sets on the marketplace. What I'm going to go over today is, do is documented on our documentation side at this address. Here you will find the specifications for the data sets to be registered and published on the marketplace. The expectation is that the data sets are formatted as time series with the actual data organized in columns for the different inputs that the set provides. We will start now with registering a new data set. Here I have my Catalyst environment where I'm running the latest version of Catalyst which as of today is 0.5.3. I start the registration by running the following command. Catalyst marketplace register. And the first thing that happens is that Catalyst tells us that we need to configure uh, something, our Ethereum public address that we want to use in, in the marketplace. So I'm going ahead and edit this file that Catalyst has just created for us. And it's a JSON file that expects um, the, the public address and some description that is optional. I have conveniently here the public address for the, um, the wallet that I want to use, which I copy here. And then I can use a description um, for this address, which I will say my hardware wallet. I save this, I can put this away, and I run again the, I start again the process for registering a data set. So now that it's configured properly, and the first thing that Catalyst asks me is the name of the data set to register. So in this case, I wanna, I have some GitHub data that I wanna publish uh, that's GitHub data for all the top, uh, for a number of top uh, crypto assets and that's what I want to offer in the marketplace. Uh, what's the price for a monthly subscription to this data set in ENG tokens, which I set to 10. It asks me for the data frequency that this data set comes in and it's daily. Does it include historical data? Yes. Does it include live data? Yes. So now Catalyst informs me that we'll be using this address for this transaction, which is the one that I've configured um, so that matches. And then before I start the process, um, Catalyst prompts me to, to sign a message to validate that I indeed have access to this address so that um, it can go on to Catalyst authentication server to obtain a key secret pair to streamline all other future requests that don't require the use of, of the private key. So I, I'll go ahead and follow these instructions and I'll copy this link into a new window And here uh, I want to sign this message 
And this message is just a nonce. Uh, this message is, is some random uh, string that Catalyst generates uh, for this transaction and it will be only used once. So I put this here and now it asks me how do you want to access your wallet. Um, so I'm using my Ether wallet because Catalyst doesn't handle your private keys directly and we don't want it to. So we sort of outsource this process to, to any wallet that is supported through my Ether wallet. So then I, I have a Lighter wallet, I get to connect to it. This is, again, this is the public address that I'm using matches this one here. And so I choose this one and I unlock the wallet. And now I, it prompts me to sign this message. So here I have my hardware wallet and it's prompting me to whether I want to sign the message or not. I say I accept, I say yes. And here I have the result of that signature. This is the field that I'm interested in, which again I copy paste into back into Catalyst. So Catalyst informs me that the key secret pair was retrievably successful or retrievably successfully from the server and it's stored locally and now the process the actual process of registering a data set starts so then catalyst instructs, instructs me to go to follow this link which i will open on yet another tab every time i copy paste these addresses i start from a new tab so as not to get confused and here is the page for my Ether wallet that uh, allows me to sign an offline transaction. So I, I start with this field from address, I paste it here, I click on the generate information button. That gives me the gas price and the nonce, which is uh, some number that is associated to this. It's the number of transactions that this address has, has, has issued and so I'm at transaction number 39 and then uh, I scroll down and I copy the to address field the value amount to send is zero the gas limit I have to increase it because this is a smart contract and has to perform some operations so the, the, the gas limit is a bit higher than the default. The gas price it tells me to accept the default. The nonce is 39, this is 39, it matches. I want to verify this every time. And the data that I want to sign for this transaction is here which I uh, paste in this field. Again, it prompts me how I want to access my wallet. In this case, I have a ledger wallet. I want to make sure I connect to the right wallet. This is, again, this is the address that I'm using, the first one that matches this address. And so I proceed and I click on generate transaction. Here I have my hardware wallet that prompts me whether I want to sign this transaction. It verifies some of the data. It tells me maximum number of fees. Um, it tells me that there is data. And so I confirm the transaction. And here I have the sign transaction, which again, I copy paste back into Catalyst. So Catalyst is processing this first transaction and it's waiting for the, the transaction to succeed in the network and the result is the data set has been registered successfully on the Enigma data marketplace. The next thing that I want to do is then publish data for this data set. And to publish data, again, I invoke uh, Catalyst marketplace command in this case is publish and I have to specify the data set that I want to publish data for in this case is github and the 
data folder where I have all my CSV files is here, Enigma data GitHub. Now because uh, well, the catalyst tells me that it's it's going to use this uh, address to process the, the the this request. This request doesn't go doesn't go through the smart contract. The smart contract is only uh, used to manage registration and subscriptions. But I w I need to prove that I ha I am the owner of this address, and for that we recall that. One of the first things that happened when I registered a dataset is that it prompted me to sign a message to generate that key secret pair to communicate with the authentication server. So in this case, it has used those credentials that's uh, stored locally uh, and, and then used those to publish the data to the Catalyst servers. And so the dataset GitHub has been uploaded successfully and is in the data marketplace. In the second part of this video, I will show how we can subscribe to this data set, ingest it, and use it in our training algorithms. Thank you for watching.